My next project is going to be this SMS Railroad GP38-3. What I like about this very unique locomotive is that it has an extended cab which the PRSL used for dual control stands. But what's even more unique about this engine, and sort of makes it one of a kind, is at some point in its life it was in a wreck, and it was repaired with an SD40 rear porch. You can tell here in this picture how the rear porch is just a little longer than a standard GP38. So here's my stripped GP38 shell. I got pretty much all the paint off it the way I wanted it. And I started disassembling as many of the little piece parts as I could, uh, mainly the vents and the windows and the, the horn there. And I took the, the front end off here because I'm going to be extending this cab out a little bit. And then we'll reattach this after I extend the cab out. I cut the opening on my first shell very carefully so I had precise openings of the cab. On the other shell, I cut a lot larger and sort of haphazardly because I wanted to make sure that I had a piece that I could trim to fit perfectly. I used the Dremel tool and some other cutting tools to get the piece down to size so it was a perfect fit. After the test fit, I cut some extra styrene for the sides and a little bit for the roof and the front end was done. Since I had the extra set of handrails from the additional shell I'm using, I decided to take a piece of the handrail from the second shell and add it to the original handrail, creating the fourth stanchion and uh, lengthening the handrails appropriately. So just doing a test fit of the new handrail. Uh, I'll see exactly how far I need to extend the back porch now. So that's a great um, measurement tool for me. And I do need to do a little trimming there and get rid of that uh, bad plastic so that uh, I will go up into place. I'm going to have to do some work in here too to uh, make sure that the add-on will be strong enough. So I cut the back porch off my GP38 donor and I trimmed it up nice and clean and lined it up with the good GP38 shell. Now that we have our extension securely on, we're going to fill that void there with baking soda and some CA glue and it's going to be hard as a rock and hopefully help with the bond as well. Okay, this next part I saw a trick online you can fill your cavity with baking soda and then put some CA glue on it and it makes an incredible bond and fills your void. So I decided to add a little bit extra of the baking soda. And I'm just taking this file and kind of matting it down and getting it nice and clean. And I think I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll, uh, I'll take the file and get it through. Since I'll be installing KD couplers, I need the shell, and specifically this rear porch, to be very strong. I purchased this fiber paper, and I use it when I need to bond plastic together for strength. I cut a small piece and laid it across the underside to give the shell some additional strength. I also used some additional styrene strips to help with the strength. I went ahead and put a primer coat on the shell now. Let me get ready to get some paint on there. There's the extended porch, all ready to go. And my extended cab, all ready to go as well. I was quite happy these were a little easier than I had um, planned on. Um, I've been working on getting the fixed pilots done. This is a, one of them that's cut and drilled and primed. Still have to do this one. This, uh, I've had to give this quite a bit of thought. This has been a little harder than I thought, and I'll do a video on the finishing touches on this next time. But there's no real holes to attach the pilots. There's these holes for the PD couplers, and there are two nice holes right there, and I was going to attach the pilot that way, but it wouldn't mount and 
very nicely and I didn't well, I wasn't convinced there was enough strength so I saw a video online where a fella cut two holes in the shell and two holes in his pilot and, and this is a modified pilot too I added a piece of styrene in there I may actually have to add another one depending on how low I want it to go and then he made two little countersunk, countersunken holes in here for screws so he could screw this on and uh, get a really nice tight bond again with the Katie coupler I'm gonna need to do that I'm also gonna fill this large hole in and have a nice pocket there and I'll, uh, I'll show you all how I do that so for now this is it uh, we'll pause here and I'll get another video put together as I get some more progress